Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to another Bayview Review. Today we're going to be talking about your flesh, your curse. But before I get into my review, I wanted to take the time to thank Bayview for sending me this copy to review for you guys. They have an awesome company. They have a massive catalog, and I'm pretty sure they have something to fit every taste. I'm going to put the links to their Facebook page, their YouTube channel, and their official website in the description box below. Definitely check them out. And don't forget, if you have a Roku, just type in Bayview Films. Your Flesh, Your Curse is a 2017 film which runs approximately 100 minutes, and it's written and direct, directed by Casper Jule. Now, this is also a, uh, a foreign film, but you don't have to read subtitles. But it is from Denmark. So bear with me on the pronunciations. Now this stars Kim Sonderholm as Stephanie. She was in Bedrag, Hitman, and The Bridge. Bill Hutchins as Juliet's father. He was in Curse of the Blind Dead, Human Centipede 2, and Cycle. And Mick Gren as Dog Girl. She was in Moonfire, The Deer House, and Levine. Now, as I said before, this is a movie from Denmark, and I did not say the name of the main character. I had trouble pronouncing it. <laughs> so, um, the main character is named Juliet. Uh, this is an artsy film, and it's it's a tough watch. Let me say that the girl that played Juliet deserved an Oscar for her performance in this film. It's about a girl who had some questionable things happen to her in her past uh, by her father. She had turned to prostitution in order to get drugs. And it's basically what happens is she ODs. She doesn't die yet. She is in, she passes out. She gets raped and wakes up as she's being raped. And she is killed by a guy named, I believe his name was Max. Now she narrates this story. From there, when after she dies, she is sent to kind of like a purgatory where she has a spiritual advisor. Now, we're not sure whether the spiritual advisor has good intentions or bad intentions. But what we are left to believe is that she is basically reliving the bad parts of her life, almost like Groundhog Day. And I know that I've re I read a couple of reviews and some people have... Um, compared this to Groundhog Day. I don't necessarily agree. It has some of that in it, but it has her trying to make different choices as she's reliving these traumatic points in her life. So it's not just Groundhog Day for the sake of being Groundhog Day. There are different aspects of these parts. Um, this is a very extreme film. It has rape. It has... Um, a lot of drug use, a lot of uh, physical and mental abuse. So, tread carefully with this, but I, I do believe this film was, it was done extremely well. It could have benefited by baby, maybe being cut by maybe 10 minutes. It's a little too long, and they dwelled on a couple parts a little bit too much for my taste. But this is a fantastic film, and if you can stomach some of those things that happened to her. There is a message there. I'm not going to say what it is. You have to watch it and find out for yourself. But there is a message there. And like I said, when she does go back and relive certain points, she does try to do things different. So definitely check this one out. 
Another special thank you to Bayview, and if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Thank you.